Hi, this is Brittany from Hand to Mind. This is our Teach at Home math video series. This is week seven, day three. Well, we have explored and talked about two and three dimensional shapes. And today, we're gonna put all that together. We're gonna compare the two. We're gonna see what things do they have that are alike and what things are different. So come join me as we compare two dimensional to three-dimensional shapes. So today, we're going to revisit some shapes that we have talked about, and we're actually gonna then put those shapes together. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare our two-dimensional shapes with our three-dimensional shapes. So you can notice at the bottom that I have a lot of different shapes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start sorting them. And this is what I call, what I might call a secret sort. So I have a reason why I'm sorting them. And your job is to figure out what's my secret. Why am I putting them in the places that I am, okay? So here we go. So notice I put the square right here. Ooh, the sphere's going over here. The triangle is right there. The hexagon goes over on that same side. Hmm. Oh, a prism. The cube is on this side. Huh. Ah, oh, the rhombus. In the circle. Hmm. So let's just a look right now. Do you know what my why I'm doing what why I'm sorting them the way? Do you know what my secret is? Why am I sorting these this way? Hmm. Well, let's keep going and see if your idea works. Oops. Oh, the cylinder goes over here. Hmm. And the rectangle. In the cone. I wonder how many of you figured out what my secret was? Why am I sorting them the way I am? Does anyone notice something about the shapes? How many of you notice that on this side, these shapes are very flat? They're flat. They just sink into the, the page. But these shapes they have dimension to them. I can see that dimension. They kind of stick out on the page. You can kind of see that they're not flat, they're sticking out on the page. That's because that was my sort. I had my two-dimensional, my flat shapes on this side, and I was putting my three-dimensional, my shapes that stick out, or my things, my shapes that are called solids, on this side. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna compare some solids to some flat shapes. So here I have a cube and I have a square. So one thing I want you to think about is how are these two shapes alike? How are they alike? That's the first thing I want you to think about. How are they alike? How many of you said they're alike because you this is a square, and this shape right here has these squares all over it. Yeah, so a cube is actually composed of squares. So that's a way that they are alike. How are they different? How many of you said, well, a square is flat, and a cube is solid? that has that three-dimensional piece to it. Yeah, so that's a way that they're different. Are there other ways they're different? Absolutely. This one has only four vertices, and this one has eight vertices. You can't see that other one on the other side, but there's eight vertices. So what we're doing is we're kind of comparing these two pieces together. So let's look at two more. So we have a cylinder and we have a circle. So how are these alike? How many of you both said they're round? 
Yeah, so this has this is has is round and this has a lot of roundness to it, right? How many of you also said, well, it's the it's alive because it, it actually has two of those circles on it. It does, and those are the bases, aren't they? Nice. How is it different? How is it different? Well, again, this one is flat, it's two-dimensional, and this one is a solid, it's three-dimensional, it sticks out on that page. It also rolls, doesn't it? It rolls. And a circle, since it's flat, it can't stand up by itself. So it, it's flat, so it just, it can't really necessarily roll in this case. But a cylinder can. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some shape riddles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some attributes, some characteristics of the shape, and you're going to guess which shape it is. Okay? So are you ready? If you have some shapes in front of you, you can use those to help you. So here's the, the riddle. This shape is I am flat. So it's a flat shape. I have four sides that are the same length. I have four vertices. Who am I? Did you say this? Yes, I'm a square. Very good. I have those four sides. They're all the same length, and I have those four vertices. And this flat. Okay, here's the next one. I am a solid. I have two circular bases. I roll and can stack. Who am I? Did you say this? Yes, a cylinder. A cylinder is a solid shape and it can it has those two circular bases it has one on top and it has one down here on the bottom and then if i laid it on its side i could roll it if i keep it like this i can stack it good job here's the next one i am flat i have no sides i look like a pie who am i hmm I'm a circle, aren't I? So a circle is flat, it doesn't have any sides, and it does kind of look like a pie, doesn't it? Nice job. I am a solid. I have eight vertices. I have six square faces. I can stack and slide. Hmm, who am I? Did you say cube? Yes, I'm a cube. So I could stack more cubes on top. I can move that cube side to side and make it slide. I have those eight vertices. So I have four on top and I have four on bottom. There's one back here that you can't see. I have six square faces. So if I counted all those faces, I'd have six of those. Yeah, I'm just there. So today we've been looking at the three-dimensional and two-dimensional shapes and looking at how are they alike and how are they different. If you would like more activities on this, please go visit handtomind.com where you can find and download more activities. 